In this video, we will delve into two critical aspects that shed light on these issues, the perplexing case of AMC stock and the alleged rigging within the market itself. Hello everyone. Welcome to Daily Stock Update. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But before that, alert this is not a financial advice video. Let us begin by delving into the mysterious world of AMC stock where the reported short interest of nearly 30% has left investors bewildered. This intriguing situation prompts us to question whether this is a glitch or the start of another glitch season. Additionally, we have reports stating that the market cap for AMC is a staggering $7.4 billion and the shares outstanding for AMC alone amount to $1.5 billion. However, a quick check on Webull contradicts these figures as the share count there sits at 519 million. The question arises, how is it possible that the reported market cap for AMC alone is $7.4 billion when the combined market cap of AMC and the ape falls short of this figure? Furthermore, skepticism arises about the authenticity of the reported shares outstanding. As of August 1 at 10.31 AM, there is a discrepancy between TD Ameritrade's data and the available market data. Are these numbers accurate, or could they be the result of an error in the reporting system? The implications of such discrepancies are immense. If these numbers are indeed accurate, it indicates a significant short interest in AMC stock. This could lead to a potential short squeeze scenario, wherein short sellers may be forced to cover their positions, driving the stock price higher. On the other hand, if the reported data is erroneous, it calls into question the reliability of market data sources and the accuracy of financial reporting. In the second part of our exploration, we uncover the allegations that the financial market is rigged to favor institutional investors and exchanges. Representatives from Flashpoints and IEX Lit Market reveal evidence that supports these claims. They contend that certain exchanges prioritize specific market participants, offering them preferential pricing and faster execution of trades. An intriguing interview with a former CEO of a prominent exchange reveals that he was part of the problem, further hinting at the existence of a broader issue across various exchanges. These exchanges seem to act as middlemen, prioritizing rooting over executing orders on the market, which could potentially lead to substantial losses for individual investors. The alleged market rigging raises serious concerns about fairness and transparency within the financial system. The practice of front-running, where certain traders gain an advantage by placing trades ahead of others, undermines the principle of a level playing field for all investors. As these revelations come to light, we must consider the implications for individual investors. The alleged rigging could exacerbate the volatility and unpredictability of the market, making it even harder for retail investors to navigate. The excessive emphasis on rooting rather than executing orders on the market raises concerns about transparency and fairness. Moreover, market manipulation could lead to misleading market signals, creating false perceptions of demand and supply levels. Individual investors may find themselves on the losing end of trades due to hidden agendas and unfair practices. In light of the mounting evidence, regulatory bodies must step in to address these concerns. Stricter oversight and increased transparency are essential to ensure a level playing field for all market participants. Proposals for reform should include measures to prevent front-running and provide safeguards against market manipulation. Transparency in market data reporting and regular audits of market participants can help identify potential irregularities and ensure market integrity. Additionally, the development and implementation of advanced technologies to monitor and detect market abuse can bolster investor confidence. Conclusion The financial market is a complex and intricate web of interests and opportunities. The discrepancies in AMC stock data and the allegations of market rating are a stark reminder that transparency and fairness should be the cornerstones of the market's functioning. With advancements in technology, such as AI, it is vital to monitor and regulate the market closely to protect the interests of all investors, large and small. Only by fostering an equitable and transparent market can we build trust and confidence in the financial system as a whole. Disclaimer, the information provided in this video is for educational and informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Always do your own research and consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Friends, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about today's video? 
get involved, and let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.